American Savings Bank, and Hawaiian Telecom. Six or 97. Uh, when we were living in the Pacific Northwest where we moved upon us getting married. Um, but whenever we'd go to different events or farmers markets or concerts, they would have shave ice there with long lines because it was always during the summer. And when we'd stand in line and get to the front, we were always let down. It was chunky ice, nondescript syrup, and Nothing like what we were used to, so she would always say, One day, I'm going to take my money and I'm going to um, start a shave ice business. And so, uh, basically, that's what we did. It takes a lot for me to make a decision, you know, and so, I, uh, you know, did a lot of praying and I, I would say, okay, Lord, you know, you need to really make it very clear um, because this is a huge move, right? You know, us moving from the Northwest back home, you know, to Hawaii. You need to make it so, so clear to me, you know, that this is the route and this is what you want us to do. We were driving out to Spokane and we pulled into this parking lot and in the middle of the parking lot, which is so odd, <laughs> Right, it's like Tri City in Spokane, yeah, nowhere. heading to in nowhere land, right, off of the 84, and then there in the middle was uh, it was a, a shave shack. shack. It was a shave, shave shack. shack. Okay, I mean, I don't know what else you need, but this was definitely one of the signs that said, yeah, it's good. You know, you, you this is a good thing to do. Tell me about your first shave ice machine for the business. Mm, we got it on Oahu, and it was a Swan uh, shave ice machine. With the cups and the straws, with everything that you could possibly need to start a business, you know, of course, minus the sugar. You know, it really started off with wanting to uh, give the customers the best possible experience that we could give them, right? Quality has been at the forefront of mm -hmm. who we are. Mm -hmm. We start with quality ingredients, and that starts with the water. You know, um, we use purified water, and it's actually ultra purified water, and uh, we use pure cane sugar. We also use the premium purees, local um, fruit whenever possible. What we've always done was to make sure that our syrups tasted like, if it was a fruit flavored syrup, mm -hmm. it tasted like you were biting into a fresh fruit. Tell me a little bit more about what people can expect in 2019. Because you've got yes. things happening. Mm -hmm. We do, yes. In 2019, uh, we will probably have our first franchises in California opening up. Uh, How does it make you feel? Excited. <laughs> Once again, it's more like a sharing. You know, sharing this experience, giving everyone an opportunity to uh, just kind of get a piece of what Hawaii is. Oh, so good. We have been tremendously blessed just being here on Maui and the support that everyone from Maui has given us absolutely phenomenal and again we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. They, whenever guests come in from out of town, mm -hmm. whenever uh, they have friends or business it's people true. come in, the yeah. one thing that they always tell them is that they have to come to a shop. Right. But instead of just telling them, they bring them to our shops, mm -hmm. sharing it with them and letting them take that with them whenever they go back. So thank you Maui. Custom music provided by Vinyl. Visit them at vinyl.shop. For more The Best Hawaii, log on to thebesthawaii.com.